In this video, I need to verify that the IP addresses 192.168.1.2 and 192.168.1.3 have been assigned to switches S1 and S2. These IP addresses should have been assigned to the default switched virtual interface or interface VLAN 1 on both switches. In order to verify this, I will first connect a console cable from PCA into switch S1. I click on the console cable, I click on PCA, and connect it to the RS-232 serial port, and then stretch the cable to switch S1 and connect it to the console port. Now I'll click on PCA, click on the Terminal Emulation Program, and click OK to accept the default configuration setting, and this should take me to the command line interface on switch S1. From here, I'll type Enable to switch to Privilege Exec Mode, and then I can issue the Show IP Interface Brief command to examine the interfaces on switch S1. I will need to press the space bar in order to view the full display. At the end of the output, you can see Interface VLAN 1, and it has an IP address of 192.168.1.2. However, if you look in this column, you'll see that the state of the interface is administratively down. This means that that interface is in a shutdown state. You can also see that the line protocol of the interface is also down. In order to correct that, I first need to go into Global Configuration Mode, then I'll go into Interface Configuration Mode for Interface VLAN 1, and I will issue the No Shutdown command, which will activate the interface. And you can see that I'm immediately presented with a message that indicates that the interface has changed its state to up. From here, I press Enter, Control-C, and Enter again to return to Privilege Exec Mode. And now I can use the up arrow on my keyboard to reissue the Show IP Interface Brief command and then verify that now the state of that interface is up and up, meaning that it is physically up and the line protocol is now up. Next, I will verify the Switch Virtual Interface configuration on S2. To do that, I will connect a console cable from PCB's serial port into the console port of switch S2. Click on PCB, go to the Desktop tab, open the Terminal Emulation Program, accept the default configuration settings, and then that should take me to the command line interface of switch S2. From here, I will enter Privilege Exec Mode and then issue the Show IP Interface Brief command to examine the interfaces on Switch S2. You can see at the end of the output, we have Interface VLAN 1, and at this point, it has not yet been assigned an IP address. To assign an IP address, I will first enter Global Configuration Mode and then Interface Configuration Mode for Interface VLAN 1, and I'll assign the address by using the IP address command and give it the address 192.168.1.3, followed by its subnet mask. In order to activate the interface, I will use the No Shutdown command, or No Shut for short, and you can see that the interface has changed its state to up. From here, I will do Control C and press Enter to return to Privilege Exec Mode and again reissue that Show IP Interface Brief command to examine the interfaces. Press my space bar and at the end of the output I can see that Interface VLAN 1 has been assigned the IP address 192.168.1.3 and the state of the interface is up and up.